are going to be talking about the big fellas, as Lomas Brown calls them. He will be joining us later on in the show. Welcome back into the Detroit Lions pregame show. I'm Tori Petri here at Ford Field as we preview Lions Falcons, which will kick off today at 1 p.m. What did it take to put this defensive effort together for your team tonight? You know, I'm proud of our guys. We really fought. Um, you know, we stopped the run. Lions come out on top 23 to 22. I think we were all a little stressed out there as that game was ending. TJ, take me into those final moments of the game. Gentlemen, we are here in Arizona. The roof is open. Certainly going to be better weather than the Lions will probably have the next couple of weeks on the road. It's Senior Bowl week and the Lions are building out their coaching staff. Have you been able to keep up with all the news? You heard Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin talking in those press conference clips about Barry Sanders. Of course, when we talk running backs, it's hard not to bring up Barry Sanders. I walk away for five seconds to get a drink of water and you're taking my show over? Sorry, sorry, Tori. We invited you to be on Training Camp Live presented by Rocket Mortgage. This is not talking with TJ. It was a habit. Sorry. I, I know you're trying to relive of your glory days out here. You're working for a playoff team. The Lions were working on hiring a general manager at the same time. So walk me through what that process was like for you hearing from the Lions and interviewing and ultimately getting the you're job. You're excited on two ends because you're, you're getting ready for the playoffs. You want to prepare to interview for that team. I got to give you some credit because last week with our fantasy picks, you said that was the game that DeAndre Swift was going to go off and sure enough, he did. There are many women across the league who have vital roles with their teams both on and off the field. Here's the story of four such women who help the Lions organization function on a daily basis. Do you think it was something about that Georgia Bulldog being back in Jacksonville where they play the world's largest outdoor you cocktail party? Maybe he just felt at home and that is why you he had such what? a big game. I like that, Tori. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think we can expect from DeAndre Swift going forward now that we've seen that he can get it done, both catching the ball out of the backfield and rushing? Got a chance to catch up earlier in the week with linebacker Christian Jones. He talked all about that group and what he likes about training with them so much. You guys are a couple of weeks now into camp. You're getting down to crunch time just before the regular season. How has this camp compared to how you expected it to be? You heard it from QB1 there. He loves those situations when he's got the ball in his hands at the end of the game. TJ, you played with this guy. Is that the case? We talked about it at the beginning of the game. It was so hot and humid out there at Lions Texans joint practices this week. Heat indexes over 100 degrees. This is the Texan solution to it. It's a temporary cooling container out on the practice field. Players aren't the only ones to get hot, though. I had to check it out. Wow. Let me tell you, it feels good in there. Cool Tori, I thought you were always cool and calm, though. <laughs> I try. As tough as this season was, the Lions were still able to go out and win five games and turn in several big plays to contribute to this season's highlight reel. Let's welcome in our analyst, former Michigan quarterback, Devin Gardner. Devin, you've shown us a lot of big plays so far this season. What are some of your favorites? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. 10 and three. You went 10 and three, congratulations. We have an actual Jess trophy here on the pregame show. Anthony, I would like to uh, thank my family. <laughs> I would like to thank uh, all of my fantasy players that I selected. I would like to thank Jess, our namesake for our trophy, our entire pregame crew. It's been an honor. I am going to treasure this one. A big challenge for the Lions defense for sure. We'll see if they're up for the challenge on Sunday. Here's my challenge. One last shot. I'd like to see if I can hit at least one target. Thanks for watching. I'm Tori Petrie. I'm done with this game.